Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. I was in the middle of deciding on what to record. Should I go back to Legends, of course? This is the launcher page. Right here. This is the launch page, the thing I'm moving around. This is the launch page for Legends. But I decided to go back to World of Worships because... I know it's weird I'm going away from the ponies and I'm going to warfare it's kind of weird but yet so is life But instead of today playing as the Wyoming, Wyoming, I thought, hey, why, why not play as a different country? So here is a British ship I unlocked a couple days ago. Now this game really hates it when you have too many ships. Too many ships it freaks out and then I also have a Japanese ship which I've rarely used but today we will be playing as a British ship I might only do one round of British and then go back to my original roots of battleship of the United States but that all depends on my mood and like my friend suggestion suggested enter random battles because random battles does give me a lot more exp and this feels a little weird because i'm not using a battleship now the whole purpose of me using this ship is actually to unlock a British battleship. Cause I would like to have one British battleship, one Japanese battleship eventually, but um, I'm still keeping in mind the aircraft carrier. I will still be going for that. So let's get this show on the road. Yeah, the problem with these ships, big cannon, small cannons, low range. As you guys can see, these turrets turn a lot faster than my traditional turrets. And I kinda like that. I gotta get a lot closer.
did not go down without taking one ship out. I went down by taking two ships down. One by crashing, one by killing. That's how we roll. Now we enjoy the sink. They are clearly not going to win this battle. This is a French ship. Two torpedo tubes, mortar, and one, two, three main batteries. This is a German ship. This is another German ship. Here's a French ship. So you guys can see these ships have different amount of guns, different amount of expertise. It all depends on your preference. Here's our smaller ship. He's trying to line it up. He has two back batteries. Come on, launch your torpedoes, you're within range. What does it look like? That is cool. You see like the streaks of fire where the enemy ships are. You can see these slowly ticking. Let's see if his barrage of torpedoes pays off. And no good. Oh, he just launched another barrage. Will this one pay off? Probably not. Let's go see what other ships are doing. This is the longest battle of spectating we have ever encountered. Some of you must be wondering why they, well, some cannons on some ships, they painted a line. 
around where the cannon was or they put them on a metal platform where the cannon was so people knew that the cannons had specific areas they would rotate so that crew knew the stay away from those areas which is kind of cool because you can see one of them right here on this back turret it's almost dead you guys not much longer I might just do one mission of each and then just call it a day but I clearly did really well. I did really well. <laughs> Back to port. I just upgraded this beast with better cannons. But like I said I would do, I would go from one to another. I don't know if I should go in as the Wyoming because I haven't been faring very well with it but yeah practice miss perfect so let's do it anyway if I die I'll just leave and then not even bother to enter another Domination. We have two battleships, me and another, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cruisers, I think it is, and one destroyer. Alrighty. I will not accept failure troops onward in high seas. I know I'm not talking much during this video you guys and you guys find it pretty weird because usually I'm talking a lot.
I seem to be doing a lot better today with this ship. Yet practice does make perfect. Put us at a pretty decent lead. Well, it wasn't just me, it was the other people or computers. But hopefully I can buy and unlock new items by the end of this for this ship. To make it better. When some ship, like cruise ships, say they have fins that help them keep stable so that it feels like it's not doing anything, the little fins on the side of this, the, their ship fins on the bottom of the cruise ships are just like those except they're a lot longer and a lot more curved to keep the ship steady and cemented in place so that it's a smooth sail or a smooth trip for people so 
it feels like you're still walking somewhat, but you're on a moving ship. It doesn't feel like you're walking because you're walking around the ship. Uh, you'll you'll eventually understand where I'm coming at. You know, wait, no, with this. Might not, maybe, I don't know. There is a South Carolina. Three ships remaining. And clearly, this guy is not gonna do very well on his own. Does it show the torpedoes? Well, some. It shows the torpedoes. But I guess that's just if the torpedoes are loaded into the tube at the time. If he gets hit one more time, he's out of their work race. But if he can get off his torpedoes and sink it. Nope. That was a massive explosion. Either this battleship is going to clutch us to victory or we're going to lose. It's Carolina versus Wyoming. It should be somewhat easy if he can get all four turrets on it, and if he turns into attack position, he puts himself in a bad mood.
if he can recover all that health. But we're watching the enemy ship that is ablaze still still has fire we're not watching him anymore oh it vanished but it's still there Okay, I'm just gonna... Need this. Cause it seems like that's just gonna draw out really long. Cause they're so far away. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy these matches like me because this game is really interesting to me I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like leave a comment down below tell me what you thought of this video and if you have ideas for future videos please tell me down in the comments down below what you think I should play and I will see all of you in the next video bye bye